The district court can start the process of liquidating the assets of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to compensate Korean victims of wartime forced labor. If the court issues the order, the Japanese firm is expected to appeal immediately. For details, let's turn to our Yoon Jung-min. As of Tuesday, Daejeon District Court can deliver an order to liquidate the assets of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, which has ignored a top court ruling in 2018 to compensate the Korean victims of wartime forced labor. This comes as legal documents for public notification, which were issued by the local court in Daejeon, bring the ruling into effect from Tuesday. The liquidation process is expected to begin with an appraisal of the firm's local assets, which will then be auctioned off. In November 2018, South Korea's Supreme Court ordered Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to pay five victims of wartime forced labor and their families around 90,000 to 130,000 U.S. dollars each in compensation. Daejeon District Court then ordered the seizure of two trademark rights and six patents in March 2019 as Mitsubishi Heavy Industries had failed to follow the Supreme Court ruling. Japan's Kyoto News and NHK reported on Tuesday that Mitsubishi plans to immediately appeal. The Japanese firm told the media that the compensation claims have been settled completely and finally by the bilateral treaty in 1965, which was signed to normalize diplomatic relations between Seoul and Tokyo after World War II. A group of civic activists supporting the victims issued a statement on the same day, urging the company to apologize and pay the compensation. Earlier, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga said there will be serious consequences should a Japanese company's assets in Korea be liquidated to compensate the forced labor victims. Seoul's foreign ministry said Tuesday that its stance on the issue remains the same, saying it respects the judicial decision and rights of the victims while considering Seoul-Tokyo ties. The South Korean government has been closely consulting with Japan to seek solutions by listening to various opinions, and we will continue to do so. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries has reportedly said it will appeal based on consultations between the two governments. The liquidation process is likely to be postponed if the company files an appeal and brings it to court. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.